Hello, Model Railroad fans. Well, I've been uh, sculpta molding for the last several days. I've got all the foam sculpta molded that uh, I've put down. I don't have any ballast. I get to get some ballast Tuesday, and then I can cover this up, put the top on it. But yeah, I got all this sculpta molded. Got this tunnel put in. I have to do some more sculpta molding on the inside of it. It's my bridge that it, uh, it's not yet placed. I got it sitting there thinking about it. I got another one just like that coming. So over here, this will go out as Y and that bridge will go that way and this one will get close to here. I don't know. I have to fuss with that positioning. I cut a bunch of foam here to make a tunnel up here on this side. All this, all this hillside is sculpted and molded. And uh, over in here is done. I haven't done this yet because I might use just sheetrock plaster and then use a, I have some screen up in my attic that's maybe half inch square and I thought if I put sheetrock on there I could cut a piece of screen and just press it into there to create blocks. I might uh, you know cut some of it out for different size blocks but I thought I would try that. I don't know if it'll work or not but I'll give it a shot. So yeah making good progress. Mr. Sculpt the Mold. I'm just gonna briefly explain how I do the sculpt the molding. I had no idea what sculpt the mold was till I started this. It's kind of kind of like a I don't know a thick cotton or something like that. Anyway I just put in a couple of handfuls in here and then I use my pitcher to uh, put a little bit of water in there. You don't want too much water otherwise it gets too runny. So I put the water in there and then I mix it up good, pound it down, mix it up real good. I don't make too much because it dries pretty quick. So I can do, I don't know, 18 inches at a time, something like that. But uh, yeah, come along pretty good. I'll uh, clean it off a little bit. I got some what Bill calls nubbles. I think he calls them nubbles. Well, anyway. I have to scrape it a little bit with a brush, clean it up a little bit, and then I'll paint it. I'll paint it brown, and then I'm going to overpaint it with a kind of a buff color, kind of a, a dirty limestone color. And then I think I'm going to get some uh, actual limestone and, and pebbles out in the countryside and uh, try to see if I can stick some of that to this with some glue. So yeah, that's uh, that's my status. Thanks for watching.